Hello guys, if you have a GitHub issue, wouldn't it be cool to just mention at Claude and it would try to fix it for you. This is exactly what I will show in this video, my experiment with Claude code and GitHub actions. First I will show you in action and then I will show you how to set up and how it all works. So imagine you have this GitHub issue, pretty trivial, change the text on the website near the logo and this says Laravel and Vue.js project, but it doesn't really matter that much, the technology. And now in the comment, I can do Claude fix issue or whatever is the text. And another thing we will take a look at in the Claude dashboard, in the console, I have 233 remaining balance of Claude API. This is running on Claude API, not with subscription. So we'll also see how much that costs for me. So let's try to comment and see what happens. In like roughly three to five seconds, you will see this. So Claude is watching. And then in five more seconds, probably, you will see a new comment that Claude is working on that issue, waiting, yep. I didn't pause that video, this is happening in live mode. Cloud code is working. I'll analyze this and get back to you. And I will pause this video now and we'll get back after some seconds when it starts doing something. Okay, we're 12 seconds in and working on issues. So we came up with a plan, so commit changes and provide PR creation link. And it's working on that. Let's wait for some more time and see what happens. Okay, 10 more seconds and these two tasks are done. So we're one minute in, five more seconds for this to complete and added a commit as you can see. So this should be checked pretty soon. And yeah, task completed in one minute. And also the comment is added with this header, Claude finish task and the links what to do next. So you can create a pull request. Let's try to do that and it will show you the actual changes. So comparing that, this is the PR text, but I'm more interested in the code change. So it successfully identified Vue.js component where to change that text. Of course, this is a very trivial example and very simple task, but this is exactly a candidate for such tasks. If you get GitHub issue and you know exactly what needs to be changed, but you're off computer, for example, so you could do that from your phone without even the computer. So typing the comment in GitHub on your mobile and then Cloud would do that for you and prepare the pull request. And in a minute, I will show you a more complex example where that wouldn't work as smoothly. But in here we have dot view and from here you may choose to create a pull request, maybe run some more tests. This is depending on your situation and project setup. But what is also interesting is you can see what was happening under the hood. So if we click view job, which is a job in GitHub actions, this is the page with details. So total duration was a minute and 41 seconds, actually, maybe from the very beginning. And this is what was happening in cloud code behind the scenes. This information you can actually use outside of GitHub actions or anywhere how cloud code works, what is the structure of the prompt. So it has a plan, token usage, so pretty detailed information with what was actually happening and what was the process. And at the end of all of that, you can actually see the price, the cost, which may be the main reason not to use that cloud agent because it costs as API of cloud. So it's not a subscription, which means that the cost may be higher. But saying that, if I can pay 20 cents to fix GitHub issue, which would otherwise force me to go to the computer, open up the terminal or IDE, and then fix it manually, in terms of hourly rate, it would cost me much more than 20 cents. This is my general thinking actually about AI costs, whether it costs off IDE, agent, LLM, or some subscription. The question is not how much it costs, but how much it pays off. So if it saves more time and I can earn money elsewhere, yeah, I'm gladly paying that. Now let me show you how to set that up. And also I will show you, as I said, one more complex example where the result wasn't so brilliant. So in the documentation of Cloud Code GitHub Actions, this is actually all written here. I'm not sure if I want to repeat it all. You can set it up in the Cloud Code in the terminal or manually. You can go to GitHub, install Cloud App. It will prompt you to log into Cloud. So that's step one, then you need to go to console of your Anthropic 
and top up for some amount and put that Anthropic API key into GitHub secrets on the web. And then finally, this is probably the most interesting part, you can put YML file as GitHub action and this is what is actually happening. Claude will react on these events, not only the comment actually, the issue itself could be assigned to Claude. So you can do that while creating the issue, you can just mention Claude here, it's checking for comment body, event body and issue body, and then if it finds at Claude, it runs Claude code action, this one, with the parameter of your Anthropic API key, and then you may customize some details here. And thinking about it, one of the details which I missed, the model, Claude Opus, maybe that's why the price is quite big. I should try Sonnet 4.5, if it's available for this use case and maybe that would be cheaper. But yeah, this is what is happening under the hood. Now let me show you the second example. In the same repository of Laravel and Vue.js, my colleague Narius created an issue to use API resources instead of just Eloquent, and I just mentioned Claude for testing, can you change the project to Eloquent API resources? And yep, this is the result, converting to API resources, so similar structure like I show you for more simple example. But interestingly, if we view the job, it's of course a bigger change because it needs to analyze the whole project, the prompt is pretty vague and it's not really optimized, so it went for five minutes, and this Cloud Code report is much, much longer with high-level plan, including run tests, run bind, and others. An interesting thing is about approval of the commands that Cloud is trying to run, for example, it tries to make the resource with terminal command and the virtual machine has no permissions for that, so the error command requires approval for all the make resource commands, which leads to another path of creating the resources manually as files. Similarly with tests, it tries to run tests automatically, Laravel tests, and again, no approval for that, which means that the tests were not actually executed. So you can configure that to run with approval with the parameter of that cloud code GitHub action, or alternatively, you can run tests on pull requests with, again, GitHub action setup after cloud is done, so kind of a separate thing. And as a result of that, actually, the whole result was done in five minutes and the cost was 82 cents, and the worst part is that it didn't fully work. So when I cloned down that branch by Cloud Code and went to Pipeline Scrud and tried to go to edit, the edit didn't work because of some issue with types. So it's a Laravel view application using inertia, using also Wayfinder from Laravel, and also TypeScript. So something was wrong with types, and after some five minutes of debugging, I realized that the workaround, not even a solution, but the workaround is this. By default, all the Eloquent API resources return the structure with data inside as a wrapper, and we can disable that. And now if I relaunch the page, it actually works without any issues. So yeah, this was not detected by Cloud Code. Maybe if I enabled the testing permission, maybe the test would fail, and it actually does fail. So if I comment that out and try to run PHP Artisan test locally, it fails, but with that change, it actually succeeds. So yeah, one of the solutions I may try in the future is to allow tests here and potentially experiment with the model as well. One more important thing, if you're using that, the commit will come from Claude. So keep in mind, if you go to that branch for creating pull request, this would be the authorship of that commit. So if you go to that commit, co-authored by myself with GitHub Actions bot. And while making the pull request, you will see also GitHub Actions bot as author, and inside the branch name contains the word Claude, the description is generated with Claude code. So basically, if you use AI like this, people will see that you used AI, at least somewhat. And I think it used to be a much bigger deal like half a year ago, but now the whole world is kind of getting used to some tasks fully offloaded to AI, whatever is the model or the tool. In this case, for example, again, if you just need to change the text on the logo, then why do that manually? 
So yeah, this is Cloud Code GitHub Actions in action. There are other tools to do similar things. There are other agents that work directly on GitHub or via GitHub Actions. I may review them separately in future videos. You may suggest what to review, something like CodeRabbit or other reviewing tools. Put all your suggestions for future videos in the comments below. And finally, a reminder of my free newsletter, which I send every Wednesday, which is tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll send a new issue about something that I found during that week, the news from the industry. So previous issue example is something like this. So I find various tweets and Reddit posts and YouTube videos and add a comment from myself. So if you want to get this newsletter for free every Wednesday, the link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.